Hi there, my name is Isabella Strickland, and this is a little bit about me and the things I love. Let's go! Um, the first thing is crochet. I love crochet. Uh, I've been doing it for about a year now, and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. Next thing is roller skating. I've been doing it since I was like eight, and it's a hobby I enjoy, along with skateboarding. It's been my mode of transportation for about three years now, along with running, which is really good for your mental health and a habit that I think I've been enjoying for, yeah, about two years. I love watching TV and drawing. These two things together are what really make me relax. Um, I've been practicing drawing ever since I could form memories and practice makes perfectly okay. Something that I've gotten into this year have been math. Um, I hated math, but now I do a lot of it. And I mean a lot of math. I also wrote a book with my dear father and I made a comic book of it as a school project. This is my cat Dave. She's my best bud. She also gets in my videos a lot. Speaking of videos, I love taking photos. I love cinematography, photography, videography, and there you are. Next thing is writing and editing. I love both of them, along with collecting Doc Martens and collecting vinyls. So some of my most recent upcoming things in my life are, um, I'm writing a new film, spooky, spooky film. Um, I'm finishing up trying to get my book made into a movie. That'd be nice. Um, well, the upcoming movie site that I'm in, I'm really looking forward to see that premiere. And um, I just uh, graduated high school. Yay! Anyway, I'm traveling to 21 countries, part of a university program that I'm going to. Um, I'm really, really excited for that. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and I have a lot coming up ahead of me. Some of it is secret though, so sorry. Some things that inspired me for to pursue advocacy for neurodivergent people are the fact that I now have an understanding that people don't even really know what the word that neurodivergent means, um, or even what neurotypical means, or neurospicy. It's really important that someone chooses to advocate for my peers and people around me who feel like they don't have a voice. I can be their voice for them and I can be my own voice. Being neurodivergent led me to a lot of things. It possibly could have led me to being bullied um, and it also led me to an environment that made me feel safe in the school that I graduated from this year. Some people that really inspire me in my daily life are my dad, um, my mom, she opened up a business. She is also has ADHD and dyslexia like I do. Um, someone on TikTok called Lena's Brain. She is AU ADHD, which is autism and ADHD. Um, I also feel represented in her content. Um, some others are Sarinda Swan. She's amazing, so artistic. Um, there's just, there's so many people I could say that are beautiful and amazing. A piece of advice that I give girls um, is to not give up. And that sounds so basic and so cliche, but it's so true. Giving up on yourself is the worst thing you can do. It goes along with what I've experienced with being put down or being pushed away, making me feel like I'm less than. Uh, for example, I felt like I couldn't read. I felt like I couldn't do math. And that's so true. I had like, no. I had a not great grade. I was failing. I couldn't read. I didn't know where periods went in a sentence. I thought they went wherever you wanted. No. Um, and I gave up, but my parents didn't. And they moved me to an environment where people wouldn't give up on me which made me feel so empowered. And now I've graduated high school with almost all A's. It's physics that I didn't get an A on. Um, but I graduated feeling confident in my ability. I've done physics, biology 12, biology 11, pre-calc, 
Pre-Cal 12, calculus. I did things that I didn't think I could achieve because others and myself didn't give up on me. It was crucial for those people around me. So I guess boiling down to it, find a support system who won't give up on you. Also find a cat who won't get in your way of your life. Like you. But I love her. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanna thank the audience and the people who are listening today. It takes a lot to listen to someone. And I wanna thank you for that. I also want to thank Etra for all the support that they've given me and um, giving me an opportunity to say some really important things to some really, really important people. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Oh my God, okay. Ah!